Hey, this is Dawood Miracle from dmiracle.com, and I'm going to walk you through a simple beginner's introduction to WordPress. Now, before we jump in, let me share a couple of points that I think are important to know. First, there is already a simple beginner's introduction to WordPress on YouTube that I put up there a few years before this one. But WordPress since has had a lot of updates, and more importantly, the way WordPress looks has changed a great deal. So I wanted to do a video that was more up to date so that it wasn't so confusing to people. That's first. Secondly, is that this is not at all meant to be some full blown tutorial. I'm going to go through things sort of quickly um, and not really get into the specific step by step how to. The, the real reason for this is that I've got other videos that'll do the tutorial parts for you. What I want to do with this is I want you to see how easy it is for you to make updates and changes to your website using WordPress. Because, you know, if you're a coach, a life coach, a business coach, a spiritual coach, if you're a healer of some sort, do alternative medicine, you know, if you're a service professional in any way, shape or form, WordPress is a perfect platform for you to have your website. And so I want to show you how easy it is to use because the main thing that I think is most important for having success with your website is being able to control your own content. And so with WordPress, you can do that. You can easily control your own content. And so we're going to take the next few minutes and walk through how to do some of these changes and edits and updates so that you can see for yourself how easy this is to use. And ultimately, I hope, choose to use WordPress. So let's jump in. What will happen is you'll, you'll get a copy of WordPress or your developer will or I can do that for you. And we install it on a server and yada, yada, yada. All this magic happens and you'll end up with WordPress, your website, and a login. So let's look at your website real quick. This would be the website that I quickly threw together, and I mean quickly threw together, just for this demonstration. And just so you know, all of this content here, everything I did here, was all done within WordPress's editor, just like I'm going to show you. As a matter of fact, we're going to recreate this page closely. And you'll see that there's no crazy techie stuff. There's nothing in the way that's you know, going to, you know, if, if, if you're not sure you can do this, I, I want to show you that really that you can. So. This is your website, as I said, and the website sits on top of WordPress is maybe a good way to explain it. And really you have your home page and your about page and your services page and your contact page and your blog, and you could add 50,000 more pages. The, the cool thing is there's no real limits to WordPress. There's no limits on how many pages you can have. There's no limits on how many blog posts you can have. And there's nearly no limits in what WordPress can actually do for you. So. Once WordPress is installed, your developer or somebody like me will give you a login and hopefully they'll show you how to use it too. But anyway, so with the login, you'll have your username and you'll have your password and you simply click the login button and boom, you'll end up here. Now, a lot of people call this the dashboard. That's fine. More importantly, it's just not something we're going to focus on right now because there's other places where we're going to spend our time so that we can do the editing pieces. And I want to also say that I'm just bouncing back and forth here between these tabs in my browser, this is behind this. So this is the face and this is the back, the, the back office, some people call it, where we make all the updates and changes to this. So as you, as you come to the dashboard, you'll find some areas down the left-hand side where you'll spend your time. And we're only gonna get into a few of these. Um, for instance, posts is where you do your blogging, blog posts. Media, is called your media library. And this is where you'll have all of your images, all of your graphics, and even PDFs and things that you'll upload into WordPress. It's, it's kind of a repository for media. Then you'll have your pages and you'll spend a lot of time here because this is the same list of pages that we have here. Home, about, services, contact, blog. We changed this to home, but this is about services, contact, blog. And so those are the places we're gonna spend our time. We're not gonna really worry about so much of this, the rest of these things down the left-hand side. So let's start by um, you'll see this title here, a simple beginner's introduction to WordPress by Daoud. I'm going to edit that just so you can see how easy this is to do. So I'm go I've gone into the editor section. I'm going to take out the by Daoud in the title here. And this is just where the title of your page goes. I'm going to update that. You see this spins here, then it reloads. And so if I go here and I refresh my browser, you'll see that I've taken out the by Daoud. So, there we are, we've done our first edit in WordPress. You can see how quick and easy it is to just update and change text. So let's actually work on the services page. Let's go back here and I'll show you this. So here's our home page, and I'll scroll down kind of quickly through it. Okay. 
And then here is our services page. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our services page look close to what the home page looks like. Right now you see I just loaded some text in here, but we're gonna make it close. I can't make it exact because it'll take too long to be that specific, but let's just make it look kind of close. Whoops, to the home page. All right, so let's start with all the text. Let's, let's mess around with the text. So we come here to our list of pages. You see I'm under pages, all pages, and here we'd have a list of pages and we find services and we simply click on the title services. Now, now we're in the editor and now we can make updates to our page. Okay, so let's start with making this bold. So we're just gonna take this text and we're gonna make this text bold. Then maybe we'll take this text and we'll make this text italic. And then finally we'll take this text and we'll make it bold and italic. That way we can see those updates. Now you see I've just made three edits to the page. I'm gonna update that I'm going to go back to our services page on our website and I'm going to refresh it and look at that. You see, here's my bold, here's my italic, here's my bold italic. So if you were using this yourself right now, you would have made those edits. You could make those edits that quickly and you have control over your website. I didn't do anything fancy. All I've done is really use buttons here that look very, very similar to the functions in Microsoft Word that you're probably very familiar with. Bold, italic, lists, bullet list and numeric list. Um, left center and right justify and we'll get into some of the other things in a moment but let's go a little further because again I want to make our services page look a little bit like our home page so let's go back to services and I'm gonna get close as I said so next let's make a headline we're gonna make a headline um, let's say you, you like to break your pages up into into headlines instead of just a long list of text so let's make a headline there then let's go under that and we're gonna make our first bullet list so we're gonna do bullet and I'm just gonna get in here and create a few bullets off this text I'm not really worrying too much about what the text is so there's my bullet list and I'm gonna come down here and this this text for me for some reason is really important so I'm not only gonna bold it but I'm also gonna change its color and you'll see there's a feature here in WordPress where you can change the text color you can do custom colors I'm just gonna make this a nice bright red and let's go ahead and update this and let's refresh this page and you're gonna see again we've got our bold text we got our italics text, we got our bold and italics text. Now we have our subheading, we have our bullet list. And if I scroll down a little further, we'll have our bolded red text. So you can see in just a couple of minutes, we've made major changes to this page. Remember what it looked like in the beginning, it had no styling whatsoever. So let's go a little further. I'm gonna go back real quick and reference our homepage to see how close we are to what it looks like. Um, that text isn't right, but that's okay. So we're gonna do a numeric list, okay, good. So let's go back to services here. Let's go back to our editor. And now we're gonna do another list, but this time it's gonna be a numeric list. So let's go one. And all I'm doing here is hitting the enter bar or the enter key, just like you would in, in Microsoft Word. I'm gonna go ahead and make this text bold also. And now I come down here and I want this text to be another headline. So let's make that heading three, let's say. And then we come down a little further and I'm going to make this text what's called a, um, a block quote. And block quotes can be used for a lot of things. Usually it's like a pull quote in a magazine you can use it as, like you'd have in a magazine, or it might be a, a testimonial. People use block quotes a lot for testimonial. You can see that in just a second. So we've got those, those updates made. And let's also, while we're here, let's add a couple of links. So this text right here is gonna become a link to another place. We're gonna link this, this text to our about page. You see really easily, I've made this update here, add link and you see this becomes a link. And here at the bottom, I'm gonna add another link and this page right here, or this link right here, is gonna to link to my own website. So I can click link, I can type in my website, oops. I can click, add, I can even make it open in a new page, add link. And so there, what we've done now is we've done a numeric list, we've done another headline, we've done a block quote, kind of like a pull quote, and we've added a couple of links. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And here we are only a couple of minutes still into our tutorial and look at all the updates we've done on our page. I mean, this really is, it's so easy to use this. You can do this yourself. I, I, I promise you, I've taught hundreds and hundreds of people how to do these kind of edits in WordPress. And you see here, we have our link to our about page. Boom, it takes us to our about page. Let's go back to services. We have our red text. We have our bolded text again. We have our numeric list. 
we have our, our subheading again. This is what I meant by the block quote. So the block, block quote just gets styled a little differently. Um, this is done between you and your designer or the WordPress theme you're using. Uh, but you can see it could be a pull quote for you know pulling out something from the text. It could also be used for a testimonial. So for instance, I could just do this real quick just to illustrate. If I, at the end of this, go, oops, I could do that, right, justify it. And you'll see if I update and refresh, you'll see that now I could actually make this into a testimonial just like that. We'll go down a little further. We have that link to my website page. This is going to open in a new window, which means it's going to open right here as a new tab. And you'll see my recent website, which is going to change soon, by the way. Anyway, so we've made all these updates and changes. We've added links. We've added testimonials. We've added uh, numeric list, we've bolded some text, we've changed the color, we've done all this stuff, and if I look at my clock, it's been maybe four and a half minutes. So a lot of changes that you can make easily. So you've added links, now let's figure out how to add images. We're going to add two types of images. We're going to first add that huge image that was here on the home page. We're going to add that at the top, the top of the article. And let's go get, so you click here, you simply add media, and I already have this image loaded. This is the media library that I mentioned down the left-hand side. Don't worry about it. If you don't remember, you can always come back to this later. So that's the image. I'm going to simply choose this. I'm going to say that I'd like this image to be centered. And I'm going to put it into the page. And you'll see right there, there's the image right at the beginning of the text. And then you notice there was a second image that was somewhere down in here. And I'm just going to add that image. I'm going to add that image right here. So let's go to Media Library again, and this time I'm going to go, this was the image I used on the home page, but I'm going to go get an image from somewhere else in my website. So if I hit Select Files, I'm going to go get this, this Ivy. I like this Ivy a lot, so I'm going to add that. I come down here, and I can make this instead of centered. I want this one to go to the right. I can insert this into page, and oh my gosh, it's huge. So let's just make it a little smaller. And, you, and again, you don't have to worry about how I'm doing this, because you can make these updates and changes yourself and you can follow my other tutorials later. So there you see I made the image smaller. Now let's update again. Look at this. I mean, this, this really is incredible. You've, I mean, you, if you were doing this, but now we have, we've added two images to the page. We have all still our bolded and italic and all that text. We have our headlines. We have our bullet lists. We have our red text. We have our links. We've done all these updates in such a little amount of time and we're getting our home page to look, or getting our services page to look an awful lot like our about page. Look at that. A little different, but very, very similar. So let's add the last thing. Let's add the button at the bottom. And this is kind of neat too. I didn't add this in the first video. And this isn't something new to WordPress. It's just something I didn't add the first time around. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this text. I'm going to hit return once. And I'm going to go to add media. And I already have a button loaded. And how you might use this is if you're doing a class or you're... Um, have an offer of some sort, anything you want people to buy or sign up for, you might have a button that says sign up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them, so there's the button and I'm going to go ahead and center this because that's where I want it. And I'm just going to insert it in the page. You'll see it's here at the bottom. Now the cool part to this is let's say you're using Eventbrite for an event or you have a sign up button that goes to uh, Infusionsoft or you're using um, you, you have some other way or some other even page that you want people to click to PayPal to sign up for. All you do is you come here and you see this little link to area. You put in a custom URL and I don't really have a class that I'm going to put people to right now, but I'm going to put, I'm going to make this link to my, um, one of my programs that I offer websites, my website without overwhelm program. If I can type here. And I'm going to update that. And now this button, this, this graphic just became a live link working button. So let's go and update the page and watch this. This is so cool. We scroll down. Oh, I got to refresh. Sorry. We scroll down to the button. And now if I click it, it takes me to somewhere new. It takes me to my website. You see, we've left our website. We're on my website and we're into one of the programs I offer. So this is this is the freedom that you can have with WordPress. It is so amazing that you have this much ability 
easily to edit and update your website. I, I, I got to tell you, if you're if you're a coach, as I said, a healer, you do any type of service practice whatsoever, you really want to consider strongly consider a website on WordPress. There's lots of other platforms out there, but WordPress offers such such a a vast array of capabilities and functions and features, and for free. When I say for free, of course, you know you you might pay your developer, you might pay somebody to build you a website, and you know you might you might there's a lot of things that you could do, but WordPress itself, it's free. There's no monthly fee to use it. There's no payment to get a license. You simply install it and use it. It's what's called open source software. So I think that's another really amazing, powerful aspect of WordPress. So let's look at a couple of other things really quick. The first thing is how do you add a new page? And it's easy right here. You add a new page and we go, we'll just type in new page because I just want to show you a couple more things here. We put in some text. We go ahead and publish it. And now you've just published a new page. Watch this. It even shows up right here in your navigation bar. New page. Let's say we don't want it to be there. We can go to another little place in WordPress. And, I, and again, I'm only showing you this because you can have this sort of control over your site. Don't worry about where I am. But I just moved new page way over to here. And now I can even change the name of new page to um, services... Number two, I'm going to change the name of. I'm going to save this menu. And there you go. So you have all this capacity, all this capability with WordPress. Writing blog posts is easy. Writing unlimited articles is simple. Being able to control your site is just amazing in WordPress. So I want to highly recommend that if you have any kind of fear, apprehension, uncertainty about having a website, using a website, get in touch with me. Let's talk about how WordPress can really, really work for you. Um, I can't even begin to explain the amount of time, savings, effort, stress that using WordPress, even money, will save you. So this is Dawood Miracle from dmiracle.com. I'm really, really hoping that this video has shown clearly how you can use WordPress easily with your own website. If you have any questions, have any comments, please leave comments below. If you have questions, if you want to talk with me about your website, your website needs, please reach me at dmiracle.com or you'll find my contact information in just below this video. So again, I hope you're well and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.